A program teaching swim and survival techniques for Aboriginal families is proving successful. Royal Life Saving and the Karate Aboriginal Corporation together aiming to provide children with access to basic safety skills. It's a critical skill, but all too often learning to swim is out of reach for some families. Regional locations, Indigenous communities and low socio-economic areas often feeling the impact due to a lack of accessibility. And what the Swim and Survive Fund does is it allows us to provide funding and support for those families and those children who wouldn't necessarily have access to Learn to Swim programs. The program for children from birth to 14. Donna Picken able to put her foster children through the program through its affiliation with the Caridee Aboriginal Corporation. Donna's priority, making sure the kids were water ready. Very important because I think every child needs to learn to swim. They're going to save their lives one day, it will. 30 eager participants from various families have taken to the water undertaking the one to two week swim course. I just love seeing how happy the kids are at the end of the day when they don't want to get out of the water because they're having so much fun and they're literally turning blue because they're that cold but they just refuse to get out. So it always makes me happy to see kids that just love, love spending time in the water. The Swim and Survive program will continue through the year at aquatic centres all over the state. Rose Horton, Southern Cross News.